My question to you, like I'm questioning myself is, what will you be remembered for? Hello, everyone. This is Pastor Alex again on Take 5. And uh, this week, uh, something interesting happened to me. Uh, each year, about um, about this time, I start reading through the uh, through the scriptures uh, regarding Jesus' uh, death and his resurrection. Uh, it's a, a sort of been like a thing I do every year. But this year, um, I was reading about Mary um, uh, of Bethany um, and some of the things that, uh, that, that was pointed out to me. And really, the Holy Spirit highlighted these things to me. And I found it very interesting, uh, some of the things that Jesus said about, uh, said about her. And uh, I looked in, uh, I started looking into the scriptures just a little bit deeper uh, to see uh, the impact of, of, of her life and uh, uh, how Jesus commended her uh, in the scriptures. Uh, if, if you would remember quickly that uh, in, in uh, the, the background scriptures, if you will, look into uh, John uh, chapter 11 and 12. And I think also I'm looking at the word here. If you would look in, um, in Mark chapter of 14, and it's interesting, in Mark 14, 9, it says, for her acts, this is what Jesus said about Mary, I tell you the truth, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. That's a very powerful statement uh, that Jesus said, uh, meaning that Mary would always be remembered for her acts. Uh, of what she did, and what did she do uh, that was so uh, important that Jesus would uh, would mention it, that everyone would uh, know uh, throughout the world what she did, and it was Mary, the one who sat at Jesus's feet. Uh, uh, Mary was sort of like a, a spiritual scholar; she would sit there and glean at the feet of uh, you know of Jesus. It was one of the things that was pointed uh, was pointed out. Uh, the other thing I, I looked at is in John 11, it was uh, very interesting. Uh, Mary remembers the brother of Lazarus, and uh, it almost looks like she's like an evangelist. She's evangelistic in nature because the Bible talks about, in, uh, it says in John um, uh, 11, 45, it says, Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary, the Bible hi highlights, and had seen what Jesus did and put faith in in him. And some of them uh, believed, and um, I don't know whether or not that Mary shared the gospel with them or told them about it, but the mere fact that her name is associated uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, I, I think is, uh, you know, is commendable. And another thing is that Mary did is that she's remembered for her giving. Uh, we all are familiar with what she did in uh, taking uh, that expensive uh, uh, perfume and uh, 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 and, and uh, anointing Jesus with this perfume and uh, and the expense of it, it was like worth a year's wages uh, that she poured out upon him. But what Mary was doing at this time, she was commemorating uh, uh, Jesus's uh, burial. Uh, in his death and, and 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 prepare them because of the insight that she had. Matter of fact, she was even criticized for what she did for her work toward Jesus. Uh, the disciples even criticized about the cost of what she did, but she did it anyway. Uh, she didn't count the, co the, the the cost. So in doing this, she com commemorated uh, Jesus, uh, preparing him for his death and his burial. Well, hey, listen. But when, uh, when they were speaking about the cost, Jesus in return commended her for the works that she did, uh, you know, uh, toward him. And she still remembered today because you and I are having a conversation about uh, Mary. So it brings the question today is, is that she was remembered for what she did, Mary. My question to you, like I'm questioning myself is, what will you be remembered for? The first thing is, what are you doing uh, uh, today to commemorate uh, the Lord Jesus? Uh, uh, Mary co commemorate him for his death. Now that Jesus is dead and he is, arose and we, uh, we live in that truth, 
The question is, is that what are we doing to commemorate the true and living Jesus Christ? What are we doing? And what would Jesus commend us to the Father for doing? My brothers and sisters, we have an example through Mary. And I ask you today is to let's think about what are we doing to commemorate our love for Jesus Christ? And what will Jesus commend us for when we stand before the Father? Asking yourself those questions will help you prepare for what uh, eternity will look like and the impact what you have uh, upon the earth. Again, I ask you, my brothers and sisters today, what will you be commended for and what will you be remembered for? I love you. See you next time on Take 5.